Yeah, so today's topic is about how to get laid for real. And um, I mean, there's a lot of, I can do numerous videos about how to get laid. There's many different angles how to get laid. But today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seriously talk to you guys about one of the best things that I can share with you, which holds the most truth. It's just the rule and you can keep it with you. I'm going to give some short examples how to use it. And it definitely works. It will always take time to get laid. I mean, it's not like you meet a woman and you chat and you take off your pants and you say, I'll put my dick in your pussy and you enjoy it. I mean, there's little guys. I mean, if you know, it's not going to work like that. There's this emotional barrier. You do have to do conversation. And I'm going to be dead serious about this. I'm dead serious about women. I'm dead serious about money. I'm dead serious about falling in love passion. I mean, there's books and literature written about science and stuff in dead series. Why can't you be dead serious about getting sex? I mean, that's the problem. It's getting, it's getting just like, like, well, you should let it go. It goes how it goes. If you want to wait for sex, you're gonna wait for sex. And I, have, I, I do, I, I'm convinced that if you make work of it in a good way, not by fisting the hookers, making a lot of money, spending money on women, but really in Theoretical knowledge, confidence, skills, social skills, learning how to persuade women, seduce them. I'm talking about that kind of shit, getting them in your game. That's when you're going to get sex. It's easier. So, today's topic is about how to get sex. That get for real is you need a dead goddamn good reason. That's it. End the video. You got it? You got it? It's real. I'm not gonna make sure. It's really, really short. It's that serious. Just you need a goddamn good reason or a goddamn good excuse. You got it? So that's I'm just saying is that it's like I'm gonna try to say it's like women are not like, oh I feel like I wanna have sex with you. They feel like they wanna have sex, they wanna be enjoying like they wanna have this orgasm or something, but they're not feeling like with you because they need the excuse they need some damn reason that it somehow serves their higher purpose of womanhood that they can feel good about it you know they don't want to feel bad about it i had sex with somebody for no reason i mean that's like what? i mean that's hilarious friends will say that's insane your pussy is golden I mean, it's not like people could just touch it. You know what I mean? So that you need a goddamn good reason, you need a goddamn good excuse to even look at it or touch it or fuck it. I mean, that's there's a lot of stages. I had a friend and he was only allowed to lick it. Seriously. I mean, for years. Eventually he was in line to fuck. So it's just, you know, where's your ambition? I mean, that's not my ambition. Seriously, then she can be pretty as hell, but I'm not gonna wait for a girl. I've done that. I've been there. I've been in my teens. I've been in my 20s. I don't have to brag about it. That's why I'm sharing this with you, because I'm dead serious about it. Okay, let's continue. So you need a goddamn good reason or an excuse to get fucked. Yeah. You need a goddamn good reason. And a goddamn good reason shouldn't be motivated just by you. Like, I'm the reason, like I just said, I'm the reason, I need to fuck, I want to fuck, so that's a good reason. I mean, <laughs> that's not a good enough reason. I mean, the reason should serve a higher purpose, oh, angel lights in the sky, something like marriage. I'm planning to marry you, really? Yeah, let's fuck. I mean, that's some reason. I mean, it's you, you got to support it. You got to motivate it. You got to prove it. Like, you're going to marry me, whereas you got to. I'm just making a fun of I'm making fun of it. Let, let me say something simple. You need an excuse. Like, a, a tragic excuse. Like, oh, when I was a kid, I was thinking maybe I was gay and I've never had sex with a woman. I mean, this is very sick. It is. I'm gonna have to 
work was something I would never use. But I could imagine that it might work to a certain degree. Personally, I do like I, I, I do I don't like to use the excuses, but I do their work. Um, I've used the excuse, for example, like and it was true, like I have multiple girlfriends, so I do have a lot of sex, so I don't give a shit if I have sex with you or not. That was a good that was that was kind of a reason for me not to wanting having sex with her because I was really needy. And then I had an excuse like well, we could just enjoy because we are here and we have nothing to lose. So there was no good reason, there was no personal reason for me to fall. So that could be a reason well that you are not personally enjoying it more than she is. And the bigger cause is she has nothing to lose and we'll both enjoy our time. Or an excuse could be you could, she might have the feeling that she could learn something from you because you are experienced in, in having sex. So she's like, she's really interested and she's curious. Or you could have an excuse like, I am, let's say you start your business excuse, you're homeless, you don't have a house, you need a place to stay. Well, then you're at least in the house, you need a bed. Or you have an excuse like you never had sex. Or you have an excuse like you got a, 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 a you fell off a stair and you got pain, pain in your back and you need somebody to take care of it and your brain. That's some kind of excuse. So, I mean, when you come up with these stupid excuses, you know, with these all the excuses, they tend to go with it and eventually suck your dick. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's like magic. It's like you're a magician. When you start, when you start doing this shit, you will start creating magic. And um, right at you, boom. <laughs> Just kidding. So guys, I hope this will work out for you. If you got questions and you want to, whatever you want to know, just ask, and I will be recording you for you. I will see you next episode. See you guys. Boom. Oh, guys, and if you really got them serious with this and you want to learn more, go to jigotraining.net because there is an opportunity for you to join a great system. There's not a training that means you could, and then you can sign up because there's a system coming for each guy to learn how to work as a gigolo and it's free, you can do it from home, you can teach you this system, you can use it, you, it's working with cards and codes and it's a whole thing behind it and it will help you seduce this woman, seriously, I've, I've, I'm working on it. And you could of course go to SMSociety.com where you can find the principles for men 25 is for free, you can read them. Thank you.